In this video, I'm going to share with you four free and open source alternatives to Google Analytics. But are they really free and are they worth trying out? That's the catch. While open source software is free to use, somebody does need to pay to store the data and for server costs. And that makes the software a little bit more technical in nature and harder to use. And so while you won't be seeing any of these open source tools as my number one recommended alternative to GA4, you'll definitely want to check them out and see if they work for your organization. And just a quick reminder that you can see my complete rankings of Google Analytics alternatives at ddu.ai slash buy GA. Now listen up as I share four open source Google Analytics alternatives. Okay, so our tool number four is Open Web Analytics. And Open Web Analytics is a free and open source web analytics framework that lets you stay in control of how you instrument and analyze the use of your websites and applications for analytics. And you can run Open Web Analytics on your own domain or as part of your own web application. Now it's customizable and it lets you extend it to meet any needs you have. You can track WordPress and media wiki based websites and admin events. And basically there's dozens of standard metrics, dimensions and reports, extensive data access to their API, which lets you integrate with other tools and it respects GDPR and other privacy frameworks. Now the problem with open web analytics is that it doesn't really score very well for us. So it's our number four tool with open source and one of our lowest rated tools overall with an overall score of 43. And this is made up by a few things. One, the price score is actually very strong. It's a five out of five because it doesn't cost you anything. However, um, there's some problems with installation. We think that it's really hard to install. The features aren't quite there, so it gets a three out of five with a features comparison to universal analytics. Privacy score, we give it a three. Even though it is GDPR compliant, we saw some issues with the privacy they had in place, so we didn't give it the highest score out there. And then it comes down to these three areas where it really lacks compared to other ones, and that's why the score is so low. It doesn't integrate with other products very well. The report quality does not look very good, and it does require a significant amount of expertise to get going. And so for those reasons, you add it all up and our overall score is 43. And again, it's one of the lower rated tools we have out there. And it's definitely not one that we're recommending that you use as your alternative to GA4. And if you want to go open source, make sure you check out the other options on here because there is some good options. Okay, tool number three is an oldie, but okay, not goody, but an oldie. And that is AW Stats. Now, AW Stats is what I used when I first ever measured website metrics when I was just getting into internet marketing about 20 years ago now. Uh, it's a free, powerful, and featureful tool that generates advanced web streaming, FTP, or mail server statistics in a graphical way. Now this is a log analyzer tool. And what it does, it looks at all your server logs for who's hitting and taking resources from your site and give you reports. Um, it uses partial information from a file to be able to process large log files. It does it often and quickly and it can analyze from any server tool that's out there. So all kinds of different servers, um, so on and so forth. So web servers, proxy servers, uh, mobile servers, streaming servers, mail servers, and even FTP. Now, like I said, this is an oldie and okay. It really hasn't changed in the last 20 years. And so I was very quick to move away from this when Google Analytics was announced, and I never looked back. Now, some of the problems I have with AW stats was that the reports didn't look very good. It wasn't really qualified for user traffic. It was any traffic whatsoever. And so I found it to be pretty inaccurate and a pretty big indicator of any bots that were going to my site. It didn't really track user behavior at all. There was no client side library. And so it was pretty basic. And it basically only told you who hit your servers, not what users were. So there's no concept of things like proper traffic analysis and proper pathway analysis. And so Google Analytics easily replaced it and it doesn't really look any different now than it did 20 years ago. So for that reason, we give it an overall score of 46. Of course, the price is right because it's free. So that gets a five out of five. Um, it's somewhat easy to install if you have access to your server. Um, if you are already using a Apache server or something like cPanel, it does come installed pretty much out of the box. But if you're installing it yourself, it's going to take some time because you need to have access to your server and install it at that level. And that's something that most marketers aren't comfortable doing. Feature comparison, it gets a one out of five because there's really none. Um, privacy score, five out of five because it doesn't really 
violate privacy at all because it doesn't really track users. Uh, integrations of other products of one out of five, report quality one out of five, expertise needed. And this is talking about the install, getting onto a server, we give it a one out of five as well. And that is why it's up to our overall score of 46. Definitely not one that I recommend using if you can avoid it and if you have the means to try something else. Okay, so let's move on to another open source tool, our number two tool, and this is Plausible. Plausible is lightweight and it's open sourced, of course. Um, there's no cookies and it's fully compliant with GDPR, CCPA, and PECR. It's made and hosted in the EU, powered by European-owned cloud infrastructure, which is important for the GDPR. It basically gives you simple analytics at a glance, uh, a lightweight script that keeps your site speed going fast. So there's really not a lot of weight going on there. No need for cookie banners or GDPR consent, but you can still track events, goal conversions, and campaigns. And you can also invite your team members to share your dashboard with a transparent and fully open source software. Okay, so it gets an overall score of 66, which is moving on up in this world, <laughs> up 20 points from our last one that we just reviewed. Uh, the price score is two because there actually is a little bit of a price to it. So two out of five because it costs about $19 for a small site. And with that, it also is not super easy to install. But when it comes to features, it gets a four out of five privacy score, five out of five, as they mentioned. Integrations with other products, five out of five. Report quality is pretty good, three out of five. Yet you do need some expertise to get this thing going. So we gave it a one out of five. And we're doing a one out of five for every open source tool because these are things that are free, but they come at a cost because it's not as simple as just throwing some JavaScript on your site. You do need to be involved with your server. You do need to do some extra tagging. And that can be something that is a deterrent for people, especially when there's a free easy to install alternative with Google Analytics. And remember, these comparisons aren't saying, are they a good tool overall? It's saying, how do they compare to Google Analytics, which is the industry standard, the gold standard, if you ask me for analytics tools. And so this leaves us with an overall score of 66 out of 100, and it is our number two tool that we're ranking for open source. Okay, so that brings us to our number one tool for open source analytics, and that is Snowplow Analytics, which allows you to collect, manage, and operationalize your behavioral data. Uh, the reason why it's so nice is that you can power multiple use cases with a single unified data set generated from web, mobile, and other sources. You can avoid poor quality data, eroding your confidence in your reporting, analytics, and products. Gives you clean, well-structured data, which means less time preparing data and more time creating value. Now, our overall score for Snowplow is a 66. It's a five out of five for price score because it is free, although there is a storage component needed for it, which may not be that expensive if you don't have a very large site. One out of five for installation ease because I've actually tried to install it myself. And aside from the base tag, it's pretty complicated, especially if you want to configure it the right way. So I give it a one out of five for ease. Features comparison, three out of five, although since it's open source and pretty open, you can make a lot of changes. Five out of five for privacy. Integrations with other products, we give it a three out of five. Report quality, four out of five because you can link it into other tools. You can create good reports from there and the reports are okay. And then as far as expertise needed, we give it a two out of five. Okay, so that overall score of 66 is made up with that. Now, here's the deal. Basically, for any one of these open source tools, even our number one tool, if you have technical chops and you already host your own server, I strongly recommend that you check out these open source analytics tools, particularly Snowplow Analytics because the people behind Snowplow Analytics are awesome. I've actually met them in person. The technology is open and enabling, and there's a lot of momentum in the analytics community. And so while I don't rank it very highly as a direct replacement to GA4, which is a free and powerful tool in its own right, if I were to switch off Google Analytics entirely and I wanted to go open source and I wanted to have full control, Snowplow would be my first choice. So it has my endorsement if you're a little bit more hands-on and you're not somebody who's just looking to replace the basics of GA4, okay? So Snowplow is a strong recommendation for people who are on the fence about whether they should be doing analytics that's run by a company or if they should just install it and have full control and give their users full control over privacy. So it's really good for that stuff. And if you don't mind getting your hands dirty, rolling up the sleeves and learning an analytics tool, learning how to install it, it can be a good option for you and there's a great team behind it. Okay, so that's it for this summary of open source tools. And just a quick reminder to see the rest of my list by visiting our GA Alternatives research page over at ddu.ai slash buy GA. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.